Now to some TV drama. At the height of the Cold War, the Menzies government allowed Britain to conduct testing of atomic bombs at Maralinga in South Australia. And that story provides the background for a new ABC series, Operation Buffalo. Identify yourself. It's Leo, General. Everything tickety boo? Uh, not quite, sir. Oh, dear. You should know they brought the test forward to tomorrow. Three, two, one. The six-part drama premieres this weekend on ABC TV and one of its stars, actor James Cromwell, joined us earlier from New York. James Cromwell, welcome to breakfast. Thank you. Nice to be here. I should introduce you, of course, as Lord Crankford or Cranky to his <laughs> mates. Uh, did, you know, did you know much about Maralinga before you started on this project? I knew nothing about Maralinga at all. Um, never, heard, never heard of it. General Crankford, James, is a, a military veteran, a bit idiosyncratic. H how would you describe him as a role? And as an eccentric uh, English gentleman, privileged, a little narrow in his point of view, and uh, he tries to be as oblivious about what's going on and this consequence at Maralinga as he can possibly be, just because he knows he's only there as a figurehead. And uh, so he's there basically doing nothing but... Uh, eating and drinking, and then uh, everything goes uh, haywire. Yeah, it's Bloody Marys and Chablis for lunch in one of the episodes. Yeah. But in fact, it's your character that is the one who forces them to consider that there are Indigenous Australians living around Maralinga. Right, it starts rather innocently because his wife asks him, so what are the Aboriginals like? And, you know, he's he's been there for a while and he's never seen an Aboriginal. So he basically has no idea. Uh, I think he has a rather romantic idea of them. And then he meets them and the elder in the group sings a song to him, uh, Jerusalem, in her language. And he is profoundly moved by, by them, by her, by their predicament, by their suffering, by the realization that their well-being has never been taken into consideration, that they're treated like objects, that they're extraordinary human beings, they need to be respected, uh, they need to be heard, um, they need to be assisted, they can take care of themselves except when coming up against nuclear weapons and stupidity. James, it's a fantastic production. You clearly have affection for Australia. You've been here for a few productions over the years. All of our viewers would have very fond memories of you as Farmer Hoggett. Oh, I have the best memories. Uh, every time I've been in Australia, uh, I've loved it. I love the crews, uh, the people I work with, the actors, the directors, Chris Noonan, Peter, uh, who directed this uh, uh, series. Uh, everybody has been just incredible and uh you know i really love i love the culture i love the uh can do no worries uh get it done enjoy it while you're doing it don't get a big head don't get ahead of yourself uh and it's it's always been a delight and of course australians have been enjoying watching you in succession as well where you play again uh you know a rather um eccentric character uh but perhaps one that comes to the brings some morals to the program uh yeah i think that's his function i think it must must be very difficult for billionaires to empathize with ordinary people uh, but when you go to fight a war, as we did in Vietnam, and a, fr a friend, a buddy dies in your arms, and you see the suffering of the Vietnamese people, you come back uh, changed. You can no longer accept the um, kind of um, my myopia of the ruling class that he has a leg up on the rest of them because he saw something that most don't see. James Cromwell, it's been terrific speaking to you. We're out of time, but in happy memory of Babe, I want to end this interview with you by saying, that'll do, James. That'll do. <laughs>
Uh, it's a sweet story, man. I looked into camera and instead of seeing me, I saw my father and I heard him say to me, that'll do, James, that'll do. James Cromwell, thank you so much for joining us on News Breakfast. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. What a lovely Operation guy. Operation Buffalo premieres <laughs> on Sunday night at 8.30 on ABC TV and iView. Lovely guy. And